some DIY witch brooms. We're gonna be making two different kinds. Um, also, just in case if you hear farm animals, <laughs> my neighbors, farm animals. We got a jackass right here. <laughs> There's like a goats and I don't know, chickens, all kinds of stuff. And then also another um, neighbor, it has like a full mariachi band going on right now. So, um, but I had to film this outside because it's very messy, um, but I'm very excited. So you guys actually said you wanted to see more cooking videos and like recipe videos and also more DIY videos. Why don't you I take just... a seat, hang out. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and so I am like so thrilled about that because you guys are just like my people. I love doing those videos. So um, it's fun to get like something different other than just like sit down story times or like sit down videos. So excited for this DIY. So we're gonna be making two different types of brooms today. We're gonna be making a like pretty witch's broom and then <laughs> for Storm. Oh. <laughs> oh honey, careful there's no spiders in there. Silly. <laughs> um, and then we're also going to be making a more like uh, like primitive rustic looking broom so that way you guys have like two different options but the options are endless with these like witch brooms I think they're so fun and you can get really creative with them so uh, I'm excited to kind of like hopefully inspire you to make your own uh, so what I did was I just took a bunch of things that were in my backyard if you don't have like a backyard maybe like I do try going to the woods or just like go on a walk and find some things um just go like on a little treasure hunt that's what I call it um and just start collecting things uh in nature you can also go to the craft store or you can raid your craft closet whatever um you know your situation is like just make the most of it so we're gonna have like a little DIY craft time I really want to do like a live like craft nights with you guys i think that'd be so fun also my mom has snow right now so that's why i'm able to have more time to do this because the last diy i feel like was a little stressful whenever i have the kids and my amazing husband is watching a uh, storm right now okay so the very first um thing is this now there's a million different ways that you guys can make your own like diy witch brooms um so we're just gonna do like kind of like the easiest in my opinion just because I know a lot of you guys are busy maybe we don't have a ton of time to spend on stuff so this is gonna be the pretty looking broom and I actually have these like pompas um, that are growing in my backyard these things are these things are gorgeous but they're so messy and they shed a lot so I'm actually going to make this like the bottom part of my witch broom for the like pretty one and then for the rustic one I'm sure you guys can already see um, this was actually a sunflower stalk. So you know when I grew my sunflowers, um, this I just let it like dry out and it's like super lightweight and uh, it's perfect for like a witch broom. And then I collected a bunch of these sticks and Travis is so amazing, he helped me um, find a bunch of these like twigs and we're gonna put this on the bottom and then I'm also gonna take you guys with me. We're gonna go collect even more fun things to, um, you know, just like kind of walk around the backyard and collect some fun uh pieces of like nature twigs branches just some different colors to like mix up the texture and the colors um to make it just like really fun so i'm very excited and um i am doing this kind of like during the evening time so i'm hoping the light is not too dark but if it is i apologize um so oh my gosh the mariachi music is hilarious <laughs> it sounds so fun i want to like go over there and party Okay, so in my little basket, I have all different kinds of things. I have twine, um, but you can also use zip ties uh, and you know cover it with like ribbon or something. Um, you can even get like little feathers that you've collected. Um, you can buy like this kind of stuff at like the floral section of like the dollar store, the 99 cent store is where I got this, so, like more twine. Um, you can get the more fancier stuff uh, if you're into like all natural things from the craft store. This is a 100% natural hemp cord. Um, so if you're planning on keeping this for a long time, possibly being like a family heirloom that you're gonna pass on to, you know, your kids or whatever, um, you wanna make it last a long time. But if, if you're into like recycling and being super eco-friendly, this is like an old phone cord that stopped working. So you can use something like this to wrap around and use, um, Velcro. Um, I always save, like if we're getting rid of certain clothes or something because it's like stained, I'm not able to donate. I will save like trims and 
um, you know, anything I can to try to reuse as much as I can. A lot of people like to give me a hard time and be like, you're not eco-friendly at all, but like no one's perfect, you know, like, but we all try a little bit where we can. And, um, so yeah, I encourage you guys to do the same. So I have to be honest, I have never made a witch broom like this before. And not only that, um, I've never even watched a video on how to make a witch broom. Am I in focus? Yeah, I was gonna. Oh yeah, can you turn that around for me? Because then it'll help me see. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wait. Okay. Cool. Um, I've never made a witch broom. I've never even watched a video on how to do this. So we're actually just like gonna wing it together and ho like hope for the best. But honestly, like I feel like this is gonna be pretty easy. But you know, I don't wanna. <laughs> I don't want to sound like an idiot and then all of a sudden like um I have no idea what I'm doing I probably should have made one of these but I haven't had time so we're just gonna do it together just pretend like you're at my house and we're hanging out and I'm also trying to use my good camera so hopefully the quality is good um so I think what we'll go ahead and do is we'll make the pretty one first and I uh am gonna do like the base of it first and then I'll we'll um, come in my backyard and we'll see like what we feel like we need extra of um, but to get it to stay I'm actually gonna go ahead and use this because I'm doing this by myself it might be easier to do do it by with zip ties now this is really long and I'm trying to decide if I want to use if I want to cut it for one um, I should have cut it to size but I didn't I feel like hmm, I feel like it should be like thicker on the bottom so I guess it's okay to keep it long. It's like for Halloween and I don't know how long this is gonna like last because this is so messy. Uh, and hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing, but I'm going to take um, these. And again, you can use all kinds of stuff. You don't have to use this. Not This is not available to everybody and I know that. Um, and then I'm just gonna kind of wrap this around the broom and I actually might need more of these. I thought it was going to be enough, but it might not. And then I'm just going to zip tie. Let me try to bring this closer so you can see. It's so messy. Oh my God. How cool does that look though? It looks so fucking cool. Um, and then I'm just going to zip tie these around. And then I'm going to definitely hide the zip tie because I want it to be like pretty looking. Also, there's like little bugs on here. <laughs> that all natural organic life though. <laughs> I hope this video is not too dark. I'll be so sad if it is. Okay, so that that made it super easy. You guys saw it like took two seconds, and then you once you get that zip tied in, you can kind of maneuver these around to where you want them. You know, because they'll move pretty easily. So we'll put one there. One here. This guy back here. You need to come down a little bit. I mean, like. You guys, seriously, I feel like I need to get a, a couple more of these. Shoe fly, get off of there. There's literally like a bug crawling. How disgusting. <laughs> so appropriate for Halloween, but not on our pretty one. We don't want our pretty one to, oh my God, this thing is so long. It's like hitting the, the thing. Okay, so I definitely need more of these. I'm gonna have Travis maybe help me out. Um, but you guys saw how easy that was literally the easiest thing ever and then you can just like clip the excess of this um zip tie and you can even just tie like why uh not wire but like um ribbon or like floral ribbon you know that has the wire in it and then you could be done you know you just like wrap it and then that's it so if you're like into super easy diys you could do something like that and again you don't have to use like pompous you can use um anything that you have in your backyard um, but i'm gonna set this aside just for now and I'm going to call my husband. I'm also going to cut, I'm gonna cut like this excess off where uh, the green is. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. also have some yarn so you could use yarn to tie stuff up you could really use like anything that you have on hand 
um, that way you don't have to like go out and buy stuff. You could literally just use what you have at home. You could even use rubber bands, you know, and like cut the rubber band and tie it that way. Where am I? Uh, uh, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't moved in yet. Or two yet so. Um, so why he's getting some more of the pompas for that broom, we'll start working on this broom. So this, let me just show you guys as I'm coming close. This was the, one of my sunflowers, they, the mammoth ones, they grow like super tall. And I just kind of let them dry out. Uh, and if you wanted to like try to get these to like last a long time, you can sand them and stain them. Um, and you know, there's so many like options. So definitely uh, look into that if that's something that you want to do. I just am trying to like do something that's kind of quick just cause I don't have a lot of time. But um, I wish I did have time. I feel like I need to make time to like DIY and like do more art because it like really feeds my soul. Okay, so this is going to be, I wonder if I should make this the top part of the broom cause it has so much character. This is like where the roots were. Do you guys think I should make this the top part of the broom and then make the this part? I was almost thinking to do this, but I think I'm gonna do this because this looks like spooky, you know? And we're trying to make like a primitive one. So I think we will leave this as the top part of the broom. I think it's fun to find like brooms that are like crooked and you know, like jagged. It just gives them more character. Um, the thicker, the better, babe. Like, cause these ones were kind of small, so. No, babe, but So I think I'm gonna go ahead and use the uh, ribbon that matches um, this the best, which is like kind of this brown, you know? Um, also, if you guys end up making a witch broom or any of my DIYs for that matter, I feel like we had like, I feel like we had a hashtag and I can't remember what it was. I don't know if it was like a recipe. We need to come up with like a permanent hashtag so that I can we can like look at each other's projects because silly Patreon doesn't allow us to share pictures on here, which I think is so lame. Like I really need to like write in and tell them that they need to do something about that. But um, I'm trying to think of a hashtag like Shannon Rose. DIY. I mean, that's kind of easy to remember. Um, maybe we'll do like Shannon Rose DIY because like really no one else is going to know about it except for us. And then that way, that hashtag, um, no one else should have because I spell my name with a C. And we'll be able to click on that hashtag on Instagram and we'll be able to go look at each other's DIY projects. And I think that's super cool. I love being able to see like the stuff that you guys create. So, yay, thank you. Do you want to help me really quick? Uh, so, okay. Okay. All you have to do is just um, zip tie. Just listen for storm. Yeah, I am. You just have to zip tie those around here. I always think it's like way more fun. What do you when... want me to do with this? Yeah, just I mean... like put them around. See, like where oh, they're like we're right adding here. to this one. Yeah. So um, I, I would put like some there, and then like anywhere where there's like empty spots. You know what I mean? And then just remember, like when we're gonna be putting it up against a wall, so maybe just try to fill it like there. You know, so where it's gonna be like kind of fans out a little bit. Oh gosh, it's like so messy. Yeah. Let me come on this side. I think I need to cut this down a little bit too. We have the saw out here. I can help you once you get it like locked on. So, uh -huh. okay. if you have a helper, that's like so beneficial because it's um, a lot easier to do it when you have help. Yeah, yeah that looks really good. Why don't you zip tie down here first? Okay. Do you want to move your hand up a little bit that no, way? No, just get just get it right here. Did you get my long zip ties? Whatever I could find in the shed. Oh. Okay, now. Get, uh. And then I'm gonna need the, um, what's it called? The, uh, saw. We need another, another zip tie. Okay, here, I have another one. Maybe I come prepared when it comes to arts and crafts. <laughs> I love that I have, like, a shirtless husband helping me DIY. Like, Life doesn't get much better than this, guys. I'm like literally living out my dream. Thank you, baby. Most people know if I'm outside, I have no, well, inside, I'm No, outside. you never have a shirt on. And like some people get so upset about it too. I think it's really funny. <laughs> when people get really upset that Travis doesn't wear a shirt. Yeah. 
picture is so cool. Do you guys hear the mariachi that music? That should be, yeah, that's pretty loud. Okay. Um, oh wait, one more thing. Can we just get the saw or something so I can like... You can use this sh to cut mm -hmm. these off. Can you go ahead? Well, what's your... Yeah, help me out. No, yeah. We're just cutting the excess part of the zip ties off. Um, and then do you have a little uh, saw? We could like cut this off and maybe like four inches right here. Yeah. Um, I go get the saw real quick. Okay. So I do have to say, zip ties are very handy um, when doing this project. They make zip ties in other colors too. Yeah, but the clear Fun is. Fact. Well, no, they're not going to see them because you could just. No, no, uh, I'm just saying they make them in different colors. We're going to want to cover the zip ties. I mean, unless you don't care if it's showing, I would. I don't want mine to show. Uh, wine around it. What's that? get like really sketched out because we have like bobcats and mountain lions and all kinds of like crazy shit out here you know <laughs> i gotta keep my eye out when i'm outside and especially like when the kids are out here okay so right now i'm just taking i i, I think you guys can see what i'm doing but i know it's getting kind of dark so i'm just taking all these little like branch sticks and i'm making a base so i'm going to be like um putting them all around just like jagged and all over the place and then i'm going to zip that tie that together and then we're going to go and we're going to actually like decorate the brooms so you can totally leave them plain if that's like your aesthetic but um i wanted to put like roses and some rosemary and like just different branches and like textures and colors in so um so yeah anyway um fussy where, where do you want this cut oh yeah so like um like right here Sarah? Yeah, right here. i'll go get him yeah Pro tip, you guys. Obviously, a saw you can go back and forth, but if it's too jerky and grabbing it, you can still just go one way. If you have a good sharp saw, it doesn't won't do that jittering, chattering back and forth. Or if you have an electric saw. Yeah, but this is like. See how it's like. It'll grab it and sometimes make it. Oh, that's okay. You can always just stand that down easily if you're a perfectionist like Trav. I'm not a perfectionist. Yeah. Awesome, baby. Thank you. Wait, you can even something. make a besom out of something like this for an altar if you're like a real rich. A real rich. A real witch. Um, and use this to dust your altar. You could also beat someone with it if you're a real bitch. Yeah, if you wanted to make like a mini one for like a kid or something, that would be kind of cute. Or to put by your fireplace, like to, you know, like dust your fireplace if you wanted to make like... Storm would like the stick, please. Oh, here you go, Bubba. Just the one put him in his mouth. He puts everything in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Um, okay, let's get you some. Out. Yeah, but I'm gonna get him to see if he was hungry. Okay. Alright, so I am going to just start putting all of these sticks and kind of just taking them by the handful. This is a fun project to do if you have kids too, or like besties. You guys can have like a Halloween craft night. I wish I had friends to do craft nights with. <laughs> you guys are my friends. Um, I need to figure out how to do the live streaming because I saw on the um, giveaway that you guys were saying like you really, a lot of you guys, not a lot, but a handful of you guys like used to watch my live streams when I used to live stream, which was so fun. We did that before we had kids. And uh, um, you guys were saying like, oh, it'd be so fun for you to go live again. It would be really fun. I think I'm just like a little bit more worried now because of like cancel culture is so crazy right now that they just like, people just wait and look out for like every little thing to like, you know, get you in trouble for. <laughs> All right, so I, I'm getting to the point where like my hand can, can't really hold any more sticks. So I'm gonna try to zip tie it. It might not work because these zip ties are not super long. Um, if that's the case, um, Yeah, this is not gonna work. Ah, bummer, okay. Um, 
the zip ties actually are really helpful, but you can just use the twine if that's all you have. Um, so that's just what I'm gonna use right now. I feel like I'm losing my light here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just tie a knot. Um, you guys can't even really see what I'm doing, but you get the idea. I'm tying a knot around all this. Because, whoa, what just happened? Oh, my knot just fully came out. <laughs> DIY fail. All right, hold on. I know Trav says zip ties. This is going to make it a lot easier for me. So this is currently what this broom looks like. And this, I'm sorry, is like the freaking coolest witch broom I've seen so far. And we're not even done yet. We're going to... Why? Why do people do that? <laughs> um, we're going to wrap ribbon around this and then we're going to add... I was thinking of adding like a crystal on the front. Think I think that'd be really pretty. Any long ones, but there's like small little ones if you. No, I don't need the small ones. You just ones have to any... do two of them together. Shh, how do you do that? Grab two. Okay. Mm. Basically, yep, just like that. But just do it like literally. Oh, oh just a little barely, bit? Yep, okay, yep, got it. it, okay. And now you're gonna. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. If you need longer, you can just keep adding them. Ah! Like that, you know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like I probably... Like the, I was trying to give them like a good quality video with this camera, but this camera, you can't... Oh no, I'm not even in like the frame. You can't even like zoom or like yeah. <laughs> do certain things. Okay. Let me bring you guys up close. So now you guys are a little bit more zoomed in, so hopefully you'll be able to see better what I'm doing. Um, so we took two zip ties together because we didn't have long ones and I am just, like I said, taking handfuls of these sticks and some people cut these to make them like the exact size. I think probably what I'll do is to try to make it easier is to take a handful and then just like put them down like that and then put them, I'll do like one side and then do the other. These zip ties are super helpful, guys. Okay, so now we have one side. Let's get the other side, like the back side of it. And a handful. You can also buy like broom, corn broom or something, I think is what it's called. Um, if you're not into like finding things in nature, but you still want to DIY something, um, and you don't mind spending money, you can, um, actually buy, buy this stuff, um, like the actual broom stuff, you know, and then you could actually use it as a broom if you wanted. It's kind of cool. All right, let's see if I need this one long enough. So if you guys have any, I'm getting very excited for like Christmas already, <laughs> like holiday Christmas um, DIYs and like recipes and like baking and stuff for you guys. And I um, have been like thinking of some stuff, but if you guys have anything specific that like you think would be really cool for me to bake or um, you know, like some sort of a recipe idea that you guys have um, or like a DIY ideas for the holiday time, I already am thinking of doing like a handmade ornament like a homemade ornament I think those are really cool and great they make great gifts too and then I was also thinking of like homemade gifts for the holiday time um so so far those things are on my list but if you guys have any um good like ideas for videos on here please feel free to let me know in the comment section I'm so excited um I hope that you guys are excited for your postcards if you are in the 10 or 13 dollar tier we send postcards out to anybody that's put their address in also if you guys have had issues um, and you don't know how to do that um, you have to do it from a desktop so so far this is what the witch room is looking like um, it looks like this side could use ah I just freaking stabbed myself with a sharp end of the zip tie so be careful um, I'm gonna make another long zip tie but this time I'm gonna have to make three because it's getting even thicker now um, 
I forgot what I was talking about. A little zip tie hack there for you that Travis taught us. He's so smart. I would have never thought to do that. Right. We're getting there, guys. putting gloves on like some gardening gloves just because like I'm getting kind of poked and prodded by all these sticks um, you don't want to get a bunch of like scrapes and cuts maybe put them throw some gardening gloves on okay so now I'm just going to uh, stick in in any like areas I feel like could use some branches in through that those zip ties So this is like a very rustic primitive. Obviously this is not a broom that you would use or even someone back in the day would use. It's for decor purposes only. So just please keep that in mind. Nobody try like <laughs> cleaning your house with this. The fun part of this is going to be, I was planning on grabbing some stuff from the backyard to stick in, but it's getting kind of late and dark, so we'll see if we still have time to do that. Okay guys, I found some um, like petite lace ribbon, some more like lacy ribbon, some like, I don't know what this stuff is called, Vel like not velvet, but like silky ribbon, some brown ribbon maybe for this one. I got my handy dandy hot glue gun that's wireless. Every DIY crafter needs to have one of these. And then some more um, glue sticks. And we are gonna use our hot glue gun to take, oh, I also got some more stuff, hold on. This is a very messy workplace. Um, you can also use, if you don't have ribbon, you can cut up like old fabric. I always save like stuff like this. This is let me bring this in close because I feel like this is something that's like so cool a little hack whenever you go shopping and or if you get gifts or something and it has like these you know like the velcro with a uh, this was like around I think like bedding or something that I had bought and it had this like really nice like um like fabric band and I was like wow that'd be perfect for like gift wrapping or something but in this case it's great for a DIY projects so always save stuff like this like in a little DIY craft corner so that you have it also um this was given to me in a pr package i believe i honestly don't even remember but there's like crystals I stick another glue stick in here i normally have a paper plate to like put this on but because we're outside i think it's okay um as i get hot glue all over my <laughs> table uh all right so we're gonna come over here and make sure that you guys can see everything I'm actually going to clear this off to make some space. You guys know, what was that movie um, that everyone thought was real? Uh, and they had those like sticks hanging in the woods. Blair Witch Project, that's what it was. You guys remember that? You can make like those little guys to hang from trees. With those, with those sticks you could um, make like little star shapes, you know, with the... Uh, Oh, I thought the mariachi music was done. I was like, well, their party ended early, but <laughs> now I hear it again. All right, so I am just going to roll this around. Um, probably should have started down lower. Actually, yeah, I kind of screwed that up. Let me do this over. Pull it right off. And start low, like here. Put a bunch of hot glue. I'm using this little wood piece so that my hot glue doesn't get on my... Okay, so now we're at a good start. And we're just going to wrap this all around. And you can hot glue as you go so that uh, it doesn't come unraveled.
it doesn't have to stop there. We can get even fancier. Um, if you have extra supplies and you want to be extra and you don't want to be a basic witch, <laughs> see what I did there? Um, we can add some lace, which I think is going to be really beautiful. So I'm going to cut this. Um, believe it or not, I went to a, I think it was a garage sale or a thrift store and I found like a huge bin or bag of like a bunch of ribbon and like good ribbon too, you know, um, like this stuff. And I just totally scored. I was so excited when I found that. I was like, oh my God, craft heaven. And it was like such a good price. So I was super stoked on that. All right. Don't want it to wrap around too much because I feel like it'll mess it up a little bit. So I'm going to Can you guys hear the mariachi music? Party baby. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Oh, there's so many bugs in here. Gross, I need to get the bugs out. Um, and then I might just be able to use this and go right over that. Oh my gosh, this is coming out better than I imagined. I hope you guys are liking this DIY as much as I am. That's a great thing about like DIY projects. If you've never done them before, it's like <laughs> you never kind of know how they're going to come out. You just kind of hope and pray for the best. Especially if you're like me and decide to do a whole tutorial on it when you've never even done it before yourself. <laughs> That's kind of ballsy. <laughs> I don't know, I do kind of crazy things sometimes, but it could have been entertaining if it was a fail, you know? Because trust me, I've had my fair share of DIY fails. Just over here burning the shit out of my fingers. This is looking really, really beautiful. I mean, at least I think so. So far, this thing is like freaking witch broom DIY masterpiece in my mind and then I was thinking like how cool would it be to like do some like crystals on like the front part let me putting them on these I don't mind those are gonna go brown if you can see the kind of green um, so that doesn't really bother me too much and then I'm gonna go go ahead and start putting these um, just like hot glue gunning these crystals coming close so you can kind of see so that is what it is looking like with the little crystals on it and then I'm just gonna go all the way down like in a kind of like a straight line Not to toot my own horn or anything, but that is one fun looking witch's broom. I'm just like um, putting it up to get an idea of kind of like how I want these things maybe to be moved around a little bit so that it's like more of like a fan coming out. Think of like what else I'd want to do to it. Uh, and now I'm going to go ahead and do this like more primitive looking broom, although it uh, is turning out a little different than I had imagined in my head, but that's okay. I wonder if we just go with this. Um, and then we'll just hot glue that down. That makes it really fast and easy. Hey, we're on a little treasure hunt to make our brooms. I have my little helper here. I have another little helper right here attached to me. I don't know if you could see him or not. And we're cutting some rosemary sprigs to decorate our witch broom. Are you excited? In the silent. Yeah, and that is not a black eye. She was coloring on her face with blue marker and I trying to get it off and it <laughs> wouldn't come off so um all right so we have some um rosemary sprigs we're going to decorate with we're also going to cut some lavender that we have over here thank you thank you honey and this side. such a good little helper <laughs> and then we also have some really pretty flowers and roses that we're going to cut off to decorate so um 
Yeah, we have so many cool things in the backyard. Do we want to put some lavender? No, put some lavender. Lavender. Look, there's some lavender here. Let's cut some lavender off. We quit on the job. <laughs> she wants to play. So I just cut this amaranth. This I think will be really pretty. This is how cute I look today. We got a little storm here. Um, I found these. I think these will be really pretty too to cut to add on. So I'm gonna cut some of these. Mm. Okay, you want to put these in the put these in the basket, baby. Okay, be my good helper. Good job. What do you think, Storm? Wow, sissy, you're a good helper. Okay, put them all in there. Okay. Thank you. I get it. You'll get it. Okay. Thank you, Snow Rose. Wow, you are an amazing helper. Let's see if I can get up. Oh, it's getting old. Okay, good job. Now let's go get some roses. Come on. We're on a treasure hunt. We're on a little treasure hunt. I'm gonna take down my million locks in my backyard, even though she can kind of swim now. I'm still in her way. There's three locks on the pool gate. All right, we're in. We're in, let's do this. Okay, over here, baby. The roses are over here. Come on. Let's get some roses. We also have really pretty flowers that I want to use too. It is a little cold. Look at these crazy things growing. Isn't that nuts? It is cold, huh? We got some pomegranates. Those might be kind of fun to add in because they're not going to grow properly. And then look at these really pretty flowers down here. Hey, Snow. Come here, baby. Come on, help mommy. Yeah, help mom. And then we have these cool cattails too, which I thought could be fun to add in. I don't know what we'll end up using, but it's fun to kind of have options, you know? Still on our treasure hunt. Look at that basket. Wow, look at all of the beautiful things we have to decorate our brooms. Let's cut this beautiful baby. You wanna add that, Snow? Oh, okay. Okay. She's been such a good little helper. Good job. Should we get one more? Let's do this one. Okay, can you pick up that one too? Okay. Wow, thank you, honey. I'm a good helper. You're Mom. a great helper, honey. Okay, let's also, we put up a CPR sign out here. And I made and the leaves. Are you gonna put some leaves? Okay, beautiful. All right, let's go on this side. I think we have one really pretty rose that we can make. Oh, two pretty roses. So let's cut these. Oh. Okay, here's a really pretty rose. Can I put this in there? Careful, it's thorny. Okay, put that there. And then I think there's one more we can get off. Collected all of your treasures. So let's go, go decorate with our treasure basket. On my treasure basket. Yeah, let's go decorate our witch broom, okay? Thank you, backyard. I'm a princess. You are it's a mommy's butt. You are a princess. Okay, so we are currently on the porch outside. I'm so like sensitive. By the way, this is what I look like today. <laughs> I'm so sensitive to things. Like I have such sensitive skin that like I don't know what we were picking. You might not be able to see it, but I'm like so itchy right here. So we have our basket full and I'm just going to take this and just see what we have to work with. I was like, I should put makeup on and like get in a cute outfit. But then I thought this is just real life guys. Like if I wasn't filming this, this is what I would look like. So on Patreon, I like it to be real and raw. So hopefully you guys don't mind me looking like a hot mess. So these little cattails I think are cool to maybe like add in on the broom so I'm literally just pushing it up into like everything so that it stays um, and I'm gonna just do a lot of hocus pocus to uh, here's our other witch broom and I was gonna put this one right next to him but I want to kind of cut the bottom so that they're all kind of level And then once you get it kind of like situated where you want it, then you can start like decorating it. So I was gonna take these like 
rosemary sprigs. Also, fun little cool um, tip, rosemary um, deters like insects and pests, so it's great to put right by your front door, especially if you live where I live, like where you get a lot of like spiders and bugs and all kinds of stuff. So just to add some rosemary, it's a cool decoration, and it doubles as a deterrent for pests, so that's kind of cool. And if you wanted to, I mean like when I stick it in, it's going in there pretty far, so it doesn't feel like it's gonna like come out, but if you feel like yours might, you can always use hot glue to get it to stay in there. It's fun, it's kind of just like decorating your broom, you know? I think this is the most fun part. getting into my arts and crafts over here. <laughs> when I start to get quiet, it's because I'm concentrating. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. I got a few more things in my basket here. And we're gonna work a little bit more on the, this one, let me bring you in closer. These instead, these are easy to stick in these little cattails. They start coming out the top, you can just cut them. cool so here are the finished brooms I really hope that you guys like them I would love if you guys made these too I'm gonna come up close for you all right let's come in close so you can kind of get a good look so this is what it looks like up close here are all the little crystals those are kind of harder to see on camera but they are really pretty in person so there's that one, and then here is the more primitive one up close. And yeah, I think they came out great. <laughs> I think um, this is such a fun, easy project, super inexpensive, and it's a fun thing to do with your kids if you have kids or just friends for a craft night. So again, if you guys make these, hashtag Shannon Rose DIY and then we can check each other's out. But thank you guys so much for watching. I am sending you all my love and all my positive energy and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Mwah.